In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called polynomial long division, problem type 3. We're given two polynomials to divide, and this time we're asked to give our answer in the form of the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor, and we're using long division. So to set up long division, I would start with my divisor outside of the radical, but I do want to notice that while it is in descending order, I have a missing term. The highest degree here is 2, and I don't have an x to the 1. So when I write this outside the radical, I'm going to add a placeholder. So I would have minus 4x squared plus a 0x plus 3. So again, I've introduced this placeholder since I didn't have an x to the 1 power. When I look at the dividend, I notice that it is not in descending order, so I'll take this as an opportunity to write it in descending order, which would start with the highest degree, 20x4, and then I have a plus 8x3, a minus 19x2, a plus 2x, and a minus 6. And now that we have it written out for long division, I can look at the leading terms to divide the 20x4 divided by a minus 4x squared. 20 divided by minus 4 gives me a negative 5. x4 divided by x2 is x2. So I'll put this in over the place value for our squared x's. And then just as in long division, I would multiply. Negative 5x squared times a negative 4x squared is a positive 20x to the fourth negative 5x squared times a 0x would be a 0x to the third, negative 5x squared times 3, a negative 15x squared, and then we would need to subtract. So I will change each of these signs and add. This should always cancel the first term. We have an 8x cubed plus 0x cubed is still an 8x cubed, minus 19x squared plus 15x squared, a minus 4x squared. We would bring down the next term, just as in numerical long division. And again, we would look at the leading terms. To divide, this time I would have 8x3 divided by that minus 4x squared. 8 divided by minus 4, a negative 2x3 divided by x squared, an x, so our next term is a minus 2x. I again multiply minus 2x times a minus 4x squared is a positive 8x cubed. Minus 2x times a 0x is a 0x squared. Minus 2x times 3, a minus 6x. To subtract, I'll change the signs again. And then adding, my first terms cancel. The second term, minus 4x squared plus 0x squared is still a minus 4x squared. The 2x now plus a 6x is a plus 8x. Again, I bring down the next term. Look at the leading coefficients once more. We have a minus 4x squared and a minus 4x squared. So this time the division gives us 1. My next term is a plus 1 that I then multiply. 1 times a minus 4x squared is a minus 4x squared. 1 times a 0x, 0x. 1 times the plus 3, a plus 3. Once again, I want to subtract. So I change the signs to add. Our first term cancels, 8x plus 0x is an 8x, minus 6 plus a negative 3 is a minus 9. And now that we have the quotient and the remainder, I can look back at the format that we were asked to use, quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. The quotient is along the top plus the remainder, 8x minus 9 at the bottom, over the original divisor which was our minus 4x squared plus 3. This would be our solution.